Joining me for our weekly Gab Fest, I absolutely love this guy. He's an attorney. He's an international security expert. He's a political provocateur and a best-selling author. Barry Nussbaum from Parts Unknown. How are you, brother? I'm doing great. This is the first time I think it's ever happened where Congress people have been able to vote by proxy. What exactly, what, was it a rule change within the House? And what's the procedure? How do you vote if they're going to be, and can they even be in session without those folks present? Well, the Constitution, which is non-negotiable, which governs the government of the United States since 1787, says you must have a quorum and the members must place their votes in person in the Congress. So, Barry, Nancy, let, let's get this. So we have 435 members of the House of Representatives. What constitutes a quorum? I, I believe it's half the members must be present. Okay. And, and she says they don't have to come to work. So she's come up with this new idea of called proxy voting, which means, let's say you're the congressperson from Los Angeles, and your name is Maxine Waters, and you'd rather hang out in your $5 billion mansion than, you know, go to work. So you give your proxy to somebody from, say, Rhode Island, and that guy gets to vote any way he wants on things that affect Californians. Maxine gets paid, the guy that went gets paid, and the guy that went could have 10 proxies in his pocket. So these guys, they just have a few of them going to Washington and they're voting for everybody else. It's absurd. So here's and what I'm thinking about, Barry. I'm going to run for Congress. I'm going to win, and I'm going to outsource my voting to Philippines. Well, if there was a member of the House of Representatives from the Philippines, you could do that. The fact is, if I lived in her district, and I'm just making this up, by the way, it could be anybody, I'd be really aggravated that my representative doesn't want to go to work. But don't worry. You still get paid in full for staying home. This is unbelievable. What else you got going on today? It gets better. Nancy Pelosi will not call the House back into session. Because she's the speaker, she's the speaker of the House of Representatives, which means the Republicans have no power as far as when the session starts and when it ends. She has decided in her infinite wisdom that they don't have to come to work. So they're all staying home. So again, but when, when you say hey, but when you say they don't have to come to work, so if she doesn't call the house into session, they can't physically have a quorum. She can't vote. But these proxy votes are they uh, are they legal now, or has there been a procedural change? Or I, mean, I know these two stories kind of go back to back. But what do they do in this case? Well, it, it's going to go to court. The Republicans filed suit immediately saying she's breaking the constitutional law that has never been challenged since our country started in the 18th century. So it'll end up in the courts. It's absurd. And women, Kent, don't forget, the Senate is in session. They're all there. They're at work. But the House is out of session because she's come up with this cockamamie Give me your proxy and I'll go vote for 10 other people rule. It's insane. I believe constitutionally it will fail and the Republican challenge will win and she will be forced to do her job. Unbelievable. But nobody, but nobody is saying, hey, I feel bad getting paid in full. They're all cashing their checks.